as you said and as I know that in Islam men and women are equal. So why is it that a woman in Islam is not entitled to equal property rights? Thank you. Where I the question that I said that in my lecture that economical rights of women and men are equal. So how come she is not entitled to an equal right when it comes to inheritance? And normally people say that the woman gets half the share as compared to that of the male. The answer to this question is given in the Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 11 and 12, which gives the guidelines how the inheritance should be divided. It says Allah has ordained for you as regarding our children, as regarding our children's inheritance. For a female, a share, half of that of the male. And if only daughters, two or more, they share in a two-third. If only one, they get half. The verse continues. And one-sixth share. For the parents, if the deceased has children, they have no children. If the deceased has no children, mother gets one-third. If the disease has brother and sister, mother gets one-sixth. And the verse continues, verse number 12, says, As in what your wife leaves, your share is half if there are no children, and your share is one-fourth if there are children. As in what you leave to your wife, your wife's share is one-fourth if there are no children, and one-eighth if there are children. In short, most of the time, the female gets half the share of the male counterpart. But not in all cases. For example, for a uterine brother and sister, both get one sixth if the deceased has got no ascendant or descendant. Both get equal share. If the deceased has got no children, both mother and father get equal share of one sixth. And in certain cases, if the person who has died is a lady who has got no children, the husband gets half, the mother gets one third and the father gets one-sixth. That means there are cases in which the woman even gets double than that of the male counterpart. That the mother gets double than that of the father. But I agree with you, in most of the cases, the female gets half the share as compared to the man where it's considered to daughter and a wife. But the answer to this is that since man, since man is responsible for the financial aspects of the family and in order not to do injustice to the man, Allah has given a higher share to the man as compared to the woman. Otherwise, we'll have to have a lecture on the rights of men. I'll let you give you an example. Suppose a person dies and after the property has been distributed, the share of the children remaining is one and a half lakh and that person has two children, one son, one daughter. According to the Islamic Sharia, the son gets one lakh rupees and the daughter gets 50,000 rupees. But, all the one lakh rupees which the son receives, he has to spend maybe the majority of it on looking after his family. Maybe 80,000 or 80,000 or one lakh he has to spend on looking after the family. But that lady, when she receives 50,000, she does not have to spend a single pie on looking after her family.